Welcome to the need to know segment of SOI, where we share information that impacts everyone in Riverside County. Today, we're looking at the county's districts and supervisors, as well as how you can affect change in November's elections. Riverside County is divided into five districts, and the people in each district elect a supervisor who represents them on the county's board of supervisors. The board is charged with a lot of responsibilities such as enacting ordinances and resolutions, adopting the annual budget, and appointing county officers. District 1 Supervisor Kevin Jeffries has owned and operated his investment business in Riverside County for 30 years. One of the issues he's taken on is pushing for more accountability of the millions of taxpayer dollars spent on county lawsuit settlements, money that he feels would be better spent on vital county services. <clears throat> John Tabagloni, the current supervisor of District 2, is retiring. But those of you who live in District uh, in the district can vote in November's election for either Eric Linder or Karen Spiegel as their next supervisor. Eric Linder grew up in the district and is a real estate professional and founder of an online communications firm. Six years ago, he was elected to the California State Assembly where he served for four years. Karen Spiegel currently serves as mayor on the Corona City Council and has been involved in local politics for many years. She's lived in Corona for over three decades and owns a local e-commerce publishing company. We encourage those of you who live in District 2 to visit these candidates' websites and learn more about them and their platforms. Then, vote for your voice in November. District 3's Chuck Washington has served as mayor and city council member for both Marietta and Temecula. Some of the measures he has supported include those that apprehend and prosecute gang members, uh, and uh, protect drug-endangered children, and fight human trafficking. The fourth district supervisor, Victor Manuel Perez, was born and raised in the Coachella Valley. He was appointed by Governor Brown in May 2017 to the Board of Supervisors and then elected to the position this past June. He's a champion of veterans' issues and is working on many initiatives to enhance services for veterans and their families. District 5 Supervisor Marion Ashley will be retiring, so Russ Bogue and Jeff Hewitt are running for the opportunity to serve on the Board of Supervisors. Mr. Bogue is a longtime resident of Riverside County and has worked in both the public and private sectors. He represented parts of Riverside County in the State Assembly from 2001 to 2006. Businessman Jeff Hewitt is a California native and has been involved in the public sector for the past 14 years. He's currently now serving his second term as mayor of Cala Mesa. If you live in District 5, visit the candidates' websites and learn more about them. Then vote for your voice in November. In fact, we believe that everyone should go online and learn more about the county supervisors. It's always good to be in the know.